Hey guys, so I wanted to do um, this quick video to kind of give you a short guide to know that you're dealing with a female narcissist. Now I know a lot of you must wonder, well, why do you put a lot of focus on female narcissism? Well, here's the thing. Female narcissism is not always talked about, okay? The reason it's not always talked about is because female narcissists are known to be extremely covert, which means that they are very undetectable. But luckily, thanks to empathic women such as myself, I can give you some of the tips and tools that you'll need to use in order to detect if someone is a female narcissist in your life. Now, it could be your mom, it could be your sister, it could be your girlfriend, your wife, even your daughter doesn't matter but you need to use this guide to understand what types of females you're dealing with and what kind of damage they can cause so it's not going to be a long video it's going to be short and brief and important now here's one thing you got to understand compromise is not on the menu when it comes to a female narc or a female who's extremely narcissistic if you think that she's going to sacrifice or compromise or do anything remotely below what her desires are you're extremely wrong. All of the sacrifice and all of the compromise will be on your end. If you ever felt disrespected or felt some kind of way by certain actions that she's doing and yet she manages to flip it onto you and get angry with you, understand that's deflection. Female narcissists are known to create triangulations, meaning that she's willing to do certain things to get a rise out of you. And when she's finally gotten that rise out of you, she'll deflect and she'll turn everything around, basically accusing you of being insecure. Had you lost a few pounds, if you learned how to be a better man, whatever the case may be, she will turn that on to you and making you feel less of yourself. So while all of these guys are trying to get at her and she's getting all of this attention from external sources you're feeling some kind of way about it if she's not willing to make that right and she's actually turning it around and making it seem like you're the one who's jealous and you're the one who's insecure that is deflection and deflection is commonly used with a lot of manipulators now another thing she would do is insult you subliminally which means you can be in front of a group of people and of course she's joking around but underneath it all she's insulting you so she's using you as an example of an insult but she's covering it with playfulness trying to play it off like she's just joking it's not that serious and of course if you react to it it's going to show everyone that you can't take a joke so bear this in mind if you're dealing with someone who likes to throw shade and read between the lines pretty much because what she's doing is she's trying to get a reaction so she can show everyone what kind of person you are. Meantime, she's only trying to be playful with you. That's not the case. And if of course you do react, she's getting that reaction and she has all more the reason to really try to come down on you because you're being oversensitive and of course you're being a big baby. She also has a Jekyll and Hyde personality. So she's one way in public, but at home or in private, she's a completely different person. She's all sweet and has a great demeanor in front of everyone, in front of people, because of course, image is everything. But at home, she's rude, she's disrespectful, she's insulting, and she has no problem putting you in your place if you get out of place. And we all know what getting out of place with a female narcissist is. It's when you tell them like it is and you pretty much put a mirror to their face. They don't like that. She's very one-sided, which means that she can do what she wants, hang out with whomever she wants, go where she wants, and she has no one to answer to. Now, in most cases, we are our own people, so we don't have to answer to people. But a female narcissist is one who can do any and everything she wants, but she expects you not to do that because you have to abide by her rules. You have to abide by what she says, how she says things go. So in this case, she's out there doing everything she pretty much does not want you to be doing. And lastly, if you reject her. Now, it could be a one-time deal that you've rejected her or if the female narcissist has run out of her free chances cards. If you reject the female narcissist, you better expect some type of smear campaign. You better expect some type of slandering. Now, in this case, because she did not get what she wanted, she did not manage to get away with 
whatever nonsense she's always been able to get away with she's going to pretty much smear your name she's going to smear your character and by smear campaigns we know that it's filled with fabrications it's filled with lies it's filled with events or situations that have never happened but of course she has to go to any lengths to try to hurt you try to hurt your character and your name be very careful of this people because if you decide to block the female narcissist you may not be looking at what she's doing but rest assured she's putting up those subliminals and she is definitely smearing your name so people be very very careful in dealing with these kinds of females dealing with any kind of female because you just never know a woman such as myself can give you the shirt off my back and not expect anything in return but a female narcissist she'll take the shirt off of someone else's back and pass it along to you as if it were from her and expect you to praise her and if you don't she'll give you hell for it think about that all right guys so i just wanted to make this quick video because it was very quick and helping you guys understand that these covert female narcissists are very damaging and there's a lot more that they can do a lot more damage that they can do and understand something if they don't even give a damn when it comes down to their children best believe they're not going to give a damn when it comes down to having a relationship with you keep that in mind the next time you're looking for the red flags be sure to look for them it's my time